Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject data structures was insertion sort. So let's see what is this insertion sort. In each pass of an insertion sort, one or more pieces of data are inserted into their correct location in an ordered list. So just take any one of the list which is unsorted. Okay, so in that you have to for each pass means for each iteration one or more pieces of data has to be inserted into their correct location to make it as an ordered list. Actually there are two types of insertion sorts will be there. One is a straight insertion sort and next is a uh, shell sort. So these two are the explains the insertion sort. Now let us see the straight insertion sort. So what we are going to do in this trite insertion sort, the list of an, the list at any moment is divided into sorted and unsorted sublist. So whatever the list you are taking, that is which is unsorted list, that list will be divided into at any moment. Okay, it should be divided into one is sorted and another is unsorted. So in that way, you have to be uh, may insert the elements. So that you have to make the final list as a sorted. Now let us see this trite insertion sort. So before going to an example, let's see this, uh, how the insertion sort, the trite insertion sort will be done. So here in uh, trite insertion sort, each pass, the first element of the unsorted sublist is inserted into the sorted sublist. So whatever the, so whatever the pass that is the iteration you are taking, the first element of the unsorted list. What is the first element of the unsorted list? So this side is unsorted and this is sorted array. Okay, here the wall was there. So the first element of the unsorted sublist is inserted into this sorted sublist. So this element has to be inserted in somewhere. Where I have to insert it? So based on the greater than and the less than uh, checking the value you have to insert into the sorted sublist just take the first element in the unsorted sublist and insert into the sorted array so let's see the example so that you will understand what is this trite insertion sort so here is an example i already solved for you let me explain this the trite insertion sort example here i have taken a list which is an unsorted list total there are six elements were there okay six elements are present in the list this is the original list so here i'm making the starting element i shifted this start starting element into the sorted this one is the sorted list and this side is a uh, unsorted list so i shift the first element that is present in the sort unsorted into sorted okay so now coming to the next pass so this is the pass one I mean after pass one whatever the element that according to our definition whatever the element that is present on the first sorted unsorted list has to be shifted to the sorted list so just shift this 78 to sorted so i just shift this 78 to this sorted this is a sorted list so now these are all the unsorted actually these are also unsorted but when, com uh, one ca when compared to these two elements only, this is a sorted list. When comparing to these two elements, this is a sorted list. And this is unsorted. So again, according to the definition of straight insertion sort, just take the first element and you have to insert in wherever it is a fit. Okay. So after pass 2, the 45 is placed in between the 23 and 78. So just place 23, 45, 78. So this is after pass 2. So this is a sorted 23, 45, 78 which is in ascending order. And this is unsorted. Again apply the straight insertion. So first element has to be shifted to the sorted list. So where I have to shift? So 8 has to be shifted before 23. Because 8 is less than 23. So just shift that 8 to 20 before 23 so this becomes a sorted 8 23 45 78 now here the remaining elements are 32 56 so that is after pass 3 now shift the 
first element in the unsorted list to sorted list where I have to shift. So the 32 will be present in between 23 and 45. So just place here 8, 23, 32, 45, 78. The final element is 56. Okay. So after pass 4. Again, this element has to be shifted to the sorted list where I have to shift in between 45 and 78. So just shift this 56 to in between 45 and 78. So this is the final. 8, 23, 32, 45, 56, 78. So this is the way you have to be sort the element, whatever the uh, list they are given that is an un unordered list that has to be sorted in ascending order. So here the, the only thing I followed is just first shift the first element to, to the sorted list and take the first element in unsorted list and shift that to the sorted list. Take the first element in the unsorted list and shift to the sorted list. So here uh, the compiler is going to check Okay, so where that 45 has to be placed. So it is checking all the elements that are present in the sorted list. So 1, 2, it's checking these two elements. So in between that 45. Again 8 is shifted. So where 8 has to be shifted. It check all the elements in the sorted list and shift it to the 8 here. Again 32. Check 4, four elements and shift to its correct position. So this is a straight insertion sort example let me explain the algorithm also the algorithm for insertion sort so here uh, the arguments are the list and the last so what is this list the list contains the pre-list pre-list means the starting list it must contain at least one element whenever at least one element is there then you call it as a list so one or more elements will be present on the list so the pre-list must contain at least one element Whereas the last, it, it indicates the last is an index to the last element to the list. So from starting to, suppose the index is 9. So up to 9. The last indicate 9 is an index to last element in the list. And coming to the post list is the final, final list. The final list which is rearranged. Now see the algorithm. Set current to 1. So the first pass should be uh, 1. Now the loop will continue until or last element is sorted. So the loop has to be continue until the last element has to be sorted. So move the current element to hold. Set worker to current minus 1. So what it means? So whatever the current element that is present, that has to be moved to hold Okay, and set worker to current minus 1. So, this worker becomes current minus 1. So, now this place to here, the current minus 1. So, loop worker greater than or equal to 0 and hold key is less than or equal, less than worker key. So, whatever the hold key is, those are all less than the worker key. So, in that way, you have to place the elements. So, move worker element, write one element and decrement the worker and loop. So until you are just selecting the first element and you are moving to that uh, moving that element to the sorted list and you have to place that element by checking the condition and the loop. Move hold to worker plus one element, increment current and loop and insertion sort. So this is the algorithm for the insertion sort. Thank you.